hello so we're back Thursday yeah and that's what we have to do today so we have to fix this so just check the condition of this one huh hopefully you can see what's what's here and here <laughs> okay th this just came out so the all four so here on the bottom the bottom the top the top are all gone yeah so how we can fix something like that because you know we we always try to give the customer to give him a price and we check what is damage we check on ebay yeah and you, when you tell him the price and say look this you have to replace this because obviously here is broken you see so one part is missing this is 50 and the customer oh and i say okay the back of it is another 40. Oh, it's, it's, it's like you know they are getting a stroke when you tell him the price and on the end it's everything is going like around 200 pounds you know, it's sometimes I'm just looking on them. And if, if I see them and they are old, you know, just it's joking, but you got the point. That's what they are doing. They will not pay. No, no way. If you told them, if you told them the real price of the repair, they will not pay. So we give them an option. You know what we less than a half. We can uh, we can do some magic and fix it. Yeah. So let's do some magic on this one. Which is clearly is dying, yeah. And also, I think it's a touch screen. Yeah, touch screen. Well, it's it's it's. I don't know. Hopefully, the hinge is not broken because I don't have the hinge. Uh, the Wi-Fi antenna is broken. Let's try and close it. And even even if you. Tell them the which, what price you'll do it. You know, it's it's like a frac. It's not even half. It's like let's say like twenty five percent from how much it costs. I will do it with, with some magic. And even from that twenty five percent, I will say you know it, it, it's still a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, let's fix this. But you know what? This is a Sony. It's not like any laptop. These laptops are cost so much, you know. i5 laptop. This is not an old one, like a very old one. No. And I'm surprised, you know, even Sony, they are uh, doing this kind of, you know, cheap plastic. Oh, it's a cheap plastic. How do you think it's getting broke like that? And the customer stick it with some tape. I don't even know if it's if it's working this one. Look at the charging port. We'll see. I think someone tested and the uh, one was booked in and was actually was working. But if, if even Sony is doing this this kind of, of of laptops, what you can expect from the others, you know? <laughs> Remember the Lenovo the G50? That's <laughs> incredible. You know, with the fan screw on the keyboard. <laughs> I'm just trying to take the tape out to see exactly the damage. He's looking bad. <clears throat> mm. 
nearly there. Okay, and we have this corner. So this is quite broken. Even the power button, the plastic is is cracked to the to the power button. Okay. So this hinge is moving. Every, okay. Yeah. Inside here, cracked. Let's open this. Now let's do some magic. Let's fix it quickly. Quick fix. Wow, that's the screw. This one screw was just floating here. Let me grab a screwdriver. This is nothing to open here. This. This. Now this. CD drive. Or DVD drive. We have a few more screws here. Let's try and do some magic with this one, yeah? With, you know, on, on, like the way how we fix the hinge. Screws here. The hard drive is out. Have one more screw here. I think even here, where is the RAM, should be one screw. Yeah, it is this one. This is a Sony SVP152C29M. I don't know, it was always weird with the Sony model number. All the screws are out, let's open the case. The speaker cable, and probably the microphone on. So the back cover is out. Even this is cracked. Here we can't use the, the screw, but we have to fix it. We have to fix it. So, what do we have here? Where is supposed to be the hinge? Nothing. So, here are my screws. Here are my screws. I'm not the screw place, it, it, it's everything is gone here. Here is the power button, which looks like it's working. So let's take out the screen ribbon cable. The Wi Fi antenna. So what's this? What cable is this? This is a Wi-Fi antenna. And this? 
This is the webcam. Hmm. Okay, so we have a problem. The Wi-Fi cable is gone. But don't worry. This way we'll learn how to fix Wi-Fi. We don't have another cable, so... Somehow we have to fix it. I'll take this part out, we don't need it. Let's get concentrated on this one first, yeah? On this one... <clears throat> this hinge is moving, this is moving, but looks 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 okay. I'll open the case. But we have to be careful because this is a touch screen. A plastic clips. So what okay. Also the screen is coming out with the ribbon cable. These are gone, so we can't screw the hinge there, but the hinge are fine, look at the hinge inside, they're just moving, they're just moving but inside, are, uh, are okay. These are the Wi-Fi antenna, and it's nothing what I can do with this, you can't solder the wires, because here all be, always will be move, movement from the hinge. But we'll place... Wait, what? What is this connector? Okay, so this connector is from the task screen. Okay. Okay. So that's from the... Yeah are together the touch screen and the webcam the webcam and the touch screen but the touch screen board is here so the connector has to be plugged here we'll keep in mind and then uh, yeah like how i said there's nothing to do with the wi-fi antenna here so we will mount the we'll uh, put the wi-fi antenna inside which is same it's fine The new laptops I seen that with the Wi-Fi antenna on them uh, inside. It's not okay. The Wi-Fi signal is a bit lower compared with the Wi-Fi antenna here on the top, but it will do the job. You can't have them all, you know, cheap and uh, everything like new. Let's open the hinge. I'm quite impressed. I was thinking even this one is broken, you know, here on the screen. But these are looking fine. Does mean our job will be easier. Here inside is quite solid, so you have five screws on the hinge. Impressing. You know, many of the manufacturers are using uh, like two screws on the hinge. Max three. This has five. But here inside it's a good job. This is moving. Let's screw back the hinge. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. <clears throat> Let's put the cable, the, the webcam and digitizer.
Okay, that's fine. So here is nothing to fix. What I will do, I will use a bit of petrol, you know, the Zippo petrol on the hinge, it's very good. So the hinge has to move easily, otherwise you'll, uh, you'll have problems. <clears throat> this is not so easy. This is okay on this side. Can can be better, yeah. So I'll just open a bit the screw. You have a screw here. Hmm. A bit more. Yeah, now it's better, now it's fine. This one is fine. This one, no. Let's open this. Have a screw here on the end, you know that. And actually, you can adjust the pressure. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine now. Okay, maybe a bit more. Just a bit. Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, now it's okay. So are not so tight. So that's fantastic. That's when we can finish with the top part. With this one so we can use the screws to keep it close here the screen it is plugged in i'm just curious how i will put that connector this connector but it looks like it's not complicated that's fantastic I think this cable was like that. Good. Good. So all what we need, we need our uh, secret uh, secret solution, yeah, for hinge repair. You know the thingy, the hot glue. Uh huh. These are perfect for this kind of job. It's perfect because, uh, you see this? You can't break it. You can't break it. So to use this, you have to melt it. And uh, if you have to reopen the thing, it's very easy. Just use a little bit of hot air. And uh, when you use hot air, it's, it's, it's more, uh, you know, you can work with. Good, 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 good. Hot glue, it's, it's a very good option. Not because your assembly will be flexible and he can get, you know, kicks, yeah? But also, yeah, it's very easy to be open. If say, look, I done something wrong, I have to rework the thing, it's easy. Now the problem, we have to use the hot glue. Let's heat up the hot glue. I want to stick this and this. These sides. So I'll use this here. Yeah. I will leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Because obviously you have to plug the connectors, we have reheat the, the hot glue. I 
and this here yeah so leave this there and this yeah and now let's plug that connector The touch screen connector, so the touch screen connector is plugged. Okay, so all what we have to do now all what we have to do, yeah. Let's get a small nozzle. Small nozzle which is here uh, 500 less air just a little bit of air let's melt the hot glue Seems to be fine, and now let's close the screen. That's fine here. Now, quickly here on the bottom. You see the hot glue is coming out on the hole, which is which is good. But you have to be fast. Okay, let's use two clamps. Here and here. Okay. Let's close it here. Should be fine, should be fine. Let's wait. Just a few minutes. The hot glue is easy to be cleaned. It's a bit long. 24 minutes already. Although we need minimal half an hour more. We can say like it's like one hour job. Okay, this should be fine. So you see the hot glue pop out here and here. That means it will keep close, you know, the the bottom part. It's very easy to be trimmed here. Yeah? The hot glue. You can use like a helper like this or a cutter, you know, it's easy.
okay so everything is fine with this screen everything is okay the hinge are solid are moving let's go on the bottom part yeah? the bottom part the Wi-Fi antenna let's get out the Wi-Fi antenna we should find a better uh, better design but we have to use these wires hmm. okay let's leave this okay That will look okay, it looks okay inside. So what we need now, we have to put a screen here. Like how it's supposed to be normal, the screen, like that. The hinge like that. Now we have to find a way Yes Yeah, we have to find a way to stick this hinge down Everything is broken here so we'll use on the same way, but first I want to solve the problem with the, with the charging port. Let's see what is here. Hopefully now it's better. I don't even know how it's supposed to be discharging for here. This is not going in anymore. Yeah, it's broken. This one is broken. So we can't use this one, the metal. The charging port is meant to be like that, I think. Hmm. I should take this out. Let's see. Yeah, it's even better. But it should be like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's just. Let's just use a little bit of hot glue there on the charging port. For the moment, yeah. Just for the moment.
Probably is very good on these kind of jobs. Yeah, it's fantastic. And keep in mind, we give warranty. We give three months warranty. But obviously, they they are fine even after a long time. Laptops. After that, we'll sort the problem with the hinge. The problem is a bit of plastic is missing. Well, it's okay. It's fine. Here we have the power button. Here it's okay. See, now it's solid. So I will use let's get this cable. I will use yeah, so it should be like that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll use hot glue here. Just be sure the hot glue is like melting. I have 500 degrees on the, yeah, on my hot air machine. If it's very hot, it will do a good bond. Yeah. So you see, I'm using the, I'm just melting. I'm just melting till that point when where actually it's a fluid. I try to avoid the hinge, the metallic hinge, the metallic, uh, you know what I mean, the moving thing. Let's put this back. Okay, so I think it's on place. And for the moment, we will stop, yeah? Because obviously on the on the on the point where we have to fill everything up with hot glue, we have to put the back on it. But not yet. We have to put like that and check and check the Wi-Fi and see everything if everything is fine. So this cable. This cable should be like that. I think. I see it's like doing like, you know, like crafting, like. Here we have nothing, everything is gone from here. We still have this. Let's leave this here. And we have all we have, we have one hole here, but nothing else. Let's use some hot air. The problem is, let's use some hot glue. But the problem is here we have the home button. I don't know how much I can play here with the hot glue, but it should be fine. I can't see. It's 
same thing, melting the hot glue with 500 degrees. It's nice to watch, you know, it's satisfying, the melting process. Okay, let's put a hinge on a place. Okay, this is bad, but it's not a problem. Let's be sure it's straight. Should be like that. Yeah. bit more okay here we have a problem but we'll solve the problem don't worry so the empty space behind of the hinge is it's 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 a lot so we have to fill it up but we'll fill it up from this side just let's wait Meanwhile, let's do the Wi-Fi antenna. So you see on this case you have two Wi-Fi antenna. Actually, the this one I don't think it's an N Wi-Fi card. I think it's a normal one, but it's doing balancing. You know, if the signal is strong on one antenna, it will switch to only one antenna. If it will be stronger on the other antenna, it will switch on that one. And now we yeah we can use like a fancy dipole antenna like these ones. Yeah, I think a dipole, the directional antenna. Well, we'll do something more simple. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's not good. You can use a cutter. You don't want to cut the wire. It's a very thin wire, and that's a small one. No, it's dodgy. I know that, but you know, you want to save money. Customer want to save money. You want to save money. You don't think you'll pay less and you'll get the same thing. That's why I'm avoiding negotiating when I go to, you know, you go to your dentist or to your car mechanic. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. To negotiate the price. Because probably they are like me, you know, it will do how much you pay. Okay, that's fine. So we have the hot wire. This is the hot wire. And this is the hot wire here. And it's okay. So I'll take the ground. You have the ground, you have the shield actually. It's, it's a shield cable. That's the ground. That's the hot wire. No, it's not a perfect, you know, the antenna is not uh, 50 ohms antenna, 2.4 gig, but it will do the job. It will do it. 
Of course we will check the signal after. But I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Don't forget we are bringing to life a uh, dead one. You remember how was the laptop in the beginning? Just isolating the 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 shield, you know, you don't want to have like a ground moving on inside of your laptop. So that will be fine, it's even better. So we have a shorter one. The shorter one is here, the antenna is here. Here is nothing, it's only plastic and it's fine. 2.4 gig can go up to two walls. You can uh, penetrate, yeah? Five gig it's worst, yeah? So five gig it's a little bit worse. You can carry more, uh, more speed on five gig. But it's more like a straight line without obstacle, yeah? Good, so our Wi-Fi is sorted. All what we have to do now... Oh, I forgot about this cable, okay. So this should be like that. Think. Let's see this here. 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 Or should we be behind of the hinge? Looks fine, looks fine. I don't want to force the hinge yet. Not yet. Not yet. We have the connectors. Just like a puzzle. It's just like a puzzle. Okay, let's see the back cover. The back cover looks fine. It's not bad. Let's see how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that. And here, try to avoid any problems. And we do have some problems, so the cable should not come like that. The cable should come on this side, here, like that. Like that, should be like that. Good. And on this side, and that cable is not meant to be like that. And be like that. And be like that. Yeah, and we are fine. Good, we have the big screw here. The big screw is coming here. Uh, 
Oh, it's not going through. Let's take the screw out. No, this is pointless here. Okay, we are fine. Let's work on hinge. Here we have to fill up the fence from this side. Okay, the idea is to hot glue to be there on the on the back of the hinge, but not here on the on the moving part, not here. Looks fine. Looks fine. Looks fine. I think we can do something more. Let's use this here. If we can. Yeah, we can. Can. Now let's feel the hot glue. Now it's better. Now this is better. Okay, next thing. Next. Uh, next, we need glue, hot glue on the top hinge, or just enough to go on the back cover. Okay. Yeah?
let's put here some hot glue give me one second I'll just put I'll put a little bit on the back cover Okay, let's take this out and we are okay Where is the screw? Let's see if we can pull the screw there. Not really. Well, it's okay. It's fine. I'll use a clamp to keep it in place. Let's wait to get dry here. Yeah? Let's wait. Don't worry about the other hinge, don't worry. Let's see if we can put oh we can't put screw because it's here already. Okay, it's fine, don't worry. Now it is important the hinge to be to be to be cold, yeah. So we can move on the other hinge. Just place forward the video, you know. It will be more easy if I start editing, you know. We can forward, but we have to wait to cool down the hinge. The other hinge I think we can manage from the other side because plastic is missing, you will see. Yes, so from this side, you can fill it up. And tomorrow is Friday. That's great. The weekend is coming. The weather over the weekend, raining, raining, only rain, rain, rain. <clears throat> we 
have a little bit of extra glue on the DVD here. But not too much. Not too much. Come on, my cutter get broken. Okay, let's see with this bit. It's not straight on his place here. Yeah? <coughs> we get a small nozzle. <coughs> you see, like how I told you, it's very easy to rework the cold glue. I will lower the temperature to 150 degrees. Now it's 150 only. And very easily. You can uh, move the fence here, yeah, like here. We can move this here. You can put the screw back. Great, we can put the DVD back. Fantastic. DVD screw. Good. Good. We do have a few more screws. Speaker. I don't want to put the rest of the screw because I want to lift this to see exactly what is there. The charging port is fine, it's fine. This is broken plastic. Okay, let's do some magic there, yeah? Yeah, 500 action. I just want to be sure the charging port will, will stay on place there. Okay, charging port, it is on place, hopefully you can see. Now we can put the rest of the screws, yeah? Now it's a trick, the, the back cover is meant to come out from the other side. Uh, from this side 
Yeah. So pay attention. Let's put the screws. The hard drive. Screws. Big screw from here. Put back this cover. No, this one. We need one more screw here. We can use this. That's fine. This is broken. Sure, we fine. This is fine. This is okay. This is fine. Let's put the battery. So we have to fill up with what goes there inside. Yeah. That's that. From the morning, which one? Uh, one is done, one not. Yeah. Well, a DVD has only four point six gig, you know. Is long. You can compress the movies, but that will be long. Let's wait. Let's wait. Will be fine. I think we are uh, we are ready. Let's wait to get dry, and I can check. We can test. This is fine here.
it's very easy to underestimate the hot glue actually it's quite good just think using something else yeah like something hard how you'll open after hmm? Yeah, let's wait a little bit. Half an hour and I go home. Let me use the heater to cool down the to cool down the laptop. The heater on uh, on the fan mode only. Yes. Hold there. Working hard on that song laptop. Which one? moment of truth yeah let's see okay so we need a charger I don't have a charger oh maybe I have one second you don't second you bought the Sony chargers yeah where is it I need one Yeah, we do have. Let me just plug the charger and check.
It's fine, the hinge are fine, yeah? Plug in the charger. What is supposed to be the charging light? Huh? Any idea? Here on the front? There's no charging light. Let's check the charger. Let's check the charger, voltmeter. There is no voltage on the charger. Why? Because the charger is not plugged in. Okay. One more time. Plug in the charger. And nothing. Power on and it's coming on. And it's working. Let me leave this. So probably the battery is dead. Yeah. The hinge. Perfect. Probably the battery is dead, but it's working fine with the charger. We can still fill up a little bit more here, so to be on the level, yeah, we can do it. No, actually, the battery is charging. You can see the charging sign. So the battery is charging. Let's see what's going on here. Possible to have a faulty battery. We still have light, backlight, but no picture. Possible to have Windows problems, I don't know. Yeah, load up the Windows. Okay. I can still tight up these screws, this screw. Why need a different tool? Just to feel more solid on the hand, but it's okay. Seems fine. But anyway, if you tie the hinge, the chance to get broken is higher. But seems fine, so it's not moving, it's nothing like I was before. Yeah, okay, it's an email address here. The touch screen, touch screen is working. Let's go on the the Wi-Fi. Uh, how can I show you? Because here it's a um, connect. Yeah, so we have the power button, power. Uh, because I I touch the screen. Okay, shut down. So the touch screen is working fine, okay? So everything seems to be fine. Remember how this laptop came, yeah, with the, with the tape. Of course, can be clean, can be made nicely, how, is, how much is possible. 
but it's here is about the hinge and the hinge is fine okay that's how you can fix any hinge on any laptop but that was a bad one usually the hinge are not broken like this like a piece of plastic missing yeah usually you have one hinge probably on the on the bottom or on the top and that's all it's more easy so in this case yeah so we fix here the the, the front uh, cover here and the hinge okay yeah obviously this will be fine that that's the reason why we can give warranty for this kind of job okay thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one yeah bye